Hello guys, hope you all are fine. My name is Priyansh and I'm back with another episode of making a professional EDM track with only FL Studio stock plugins. So if you haven't watched the previous episode of this season, I would recommend you to go and watch that video before watching this one because this episode is the continuation of the first episode of this season. So in the previous episode, I have shown you guys that how you can start a melodic dubstep track and what are the basics of creating a track with a vibe. And now in this episode, I will show you how you can make your chorus all along with the build up. But before starting this video, I would recommend you guys to subscribe this YouTube channel because I'm going to be making many more helpful videos for the beginner producers and post them in here. So you won't miss any updates. So let's start this episode without wasting any time. <laughs> So here you can see how far we have come on the previous episode. Let me play that again so it will be more relevant to you. So in this episode, we're going to continue making this track. So we will paste our main theme, AKA the plug sound to the chorus and to the build up. We will also paste the strings that we have used in our verse. And we will also need a downlifter and a crash transition to introduce our chorus. And here we will add the same background effects that we have already used for our intro. We will also use a cinematic loop for our chorus to make it more epic. And let's finally add the sub bass into the next 8 bars of our chorus. So basically here I'm giving some rest to the track by adding these kind of soothing elements. Actually in my own tracks, my chorus part pretty much depends on the vocals. Like when the chorus part comes in, I try to make a really soothing vibe into the track. So the audience can concentrate on the vocals and the vocals will have much more attention at that particular time. And then we can gradually build our vibe by adding our build up, which leads us to the drop. And it will sound more organic and natural if we keep it in that way. We are gonna basically put the plugs and the strings on the build up again and we will also use the piano in here. Now let's add a clap to introduce the build up. Now let's add a snare. We're gonna leave that part for the pre-dof fill. We will make a triplet kind of rhythm to the snare so it will be a little unique. Let's do the same for the claps. So 
So here I have added a low pass filter and automated its pitch. So our snare can go high in pitch and it can open up through the build up and eventually build the vibe of the track. Now let's add a kick. And let's side chain. We're gonna leave some space in between the build up and we will put a sub drop in that space. So it would sound something like this. Let's add some risers now. Okay, so here we need to shorten our snares because we don't want those long tails. Much better. Here I have made a pre-draw fill. I have just chopped some pre-made fills and glued them together which I thought would fit perfectly in our track. So I will use the rhythmic synth into the build-up. Here I am cutting down the low ends gradually from the master. In that way we can tell our audience that the drop is coming. Here we will add that sub drop in between the build up which I was talking about. And now finally we will add our sub bass. So we have almost come to an end of this episode. I just wanted to tell you that I don't always follow the same rules to make my chorus and the build up. I always try different things and always try to go with the vibe of the whole song. So in this episode, I taught you what are the basics of making a good and vibey chorus and a build up. You can always break the rules, but make sure it sounds great and promising. That's all from my side. Let's listen to what we have made today. So hope you learned something new in this episode. Let me know in the comments if you like this video or not. If you like it, then go subscribe to this YouTube channel so you won't miss the third episode when I'll post it in my channel. I need 60 likes in this video so I will be able to post the third episode which is gonna be the last episode of this season. Go and hit the like button and make sure you take care of yourself and keep learning new things. Peace.